Hi Aquarius and welcome to December 2023. All right, it's the end of the year. Not only has it gone, which we always say, right? We always say, oh, it, it's gone so quickly. And yet we always also say, boy, are we glad this is this year is over. We do say it every year, don't we? And we think that the last, the last year was worse than this year. You know, that kind of vibe. All right, I'm using the Past Life Oracle to start your read. This read is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, oh, biblical. Wow, you lived in biblical times. Stone, not Stonehenge, but in times where they worked hard. <laughs> That's what Spirit just said. And they learned their lessons the hard way. It's not like we haven't, but it's not like biblical times. Or is it? Not to get, because I have not completely read the Bible, but I guess I'm supposed to ask you if you were, some of you don't have, you know, don't care. So let's just, just fast forward. But if you were a, a character in the Bible, who would you have chosen to be? Lend me your, your comments below. She's a simple, hardworking woman who's wearing all white. She knows that hard work not only pays off, but not in the way that it pays off in today's, you know, in today's world on the earth plane. It's not like they weren't in Jerusalem, right? Paving the way. Etching. Etching the... Etching the new etching in stone, etchings in stone. She's not the one who turned to stone, but she is etching in stone, being definitely. vigilant and hardworking, having this purpose. And it's such a simple purpose. It's such a simple purpose, working with your hands. Etching, you know, the etching is, is etching the word, the biblical word in stone. And what have you etched in stone in your life? How can you relate to this woman? Because she is you. Let's get deeper. Let me do a couple shuffles here. It's
it's like yeah it makes it makes me feel a little a little like working really hard on self the eight of pentacles in a way of working on self very very hard you know being being almost in a meditative state of mind and in those days they were they worked hard and you know there it wasn't you know it wasn't like a nine to five you know what i mean it was a lifestyle finding your niche your true north okay if you know your natal chart then you know slip a comment or tell me what who what sign your is your true north that speaks of your purpose, higher purpose. Okay. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Let's go. Okay. So this is the action that we take. Interesting. So these two women are cloaked. Cloaked in robes right? It's kind of like that look then and this look now, obviously, right? This woman knows her purpose. You know your purpose. Or an Aries Leo Sag in your life is playing a huge role in finding yourself. Someone wants justice to come to them. Ooh. Okay. So, the end of a relationship, a marriage. Wow. Aquarius. The end. For some of you, it's a Leo Aries Sag. Oh my gosh, Aquarius. It's either the loss of a loved one in body and or and or um, you know divorce it's a loss right divorce death it's been written someone doesn't know it hmm Working day, like day in and day out. I'm gonna, we're going to have to definitely go deeper here. Let me look at the bottom of the deck here. You threw me, literally. Yeah. Someone just leaves. There's two full moons. If you're in a court battle, if you're in any kind of a court proceeding, going to 
I mean, some of you jury duty, but I don't feel that 100%. I feel actually it is, you know, going back to the, going back to the courts to solidify a divorce, to put some balance in what has been, you know, emotionally very, um, very imbalanced, right? Someone walked away maybe like eight years ago. Do you have two eights? Someone thought this was going to be last forever, the infinity of the eight. And we know nothing lasts forever, right? Someone feels it, but can't pinpoint it. It's been, it's etched in stone. This is something in, in, you know, these are the commandments. These are the commandments. Someone lost their way. Someone is trying to regain their regain themselves in what they do, where they go, how they feel. Okay. How they, this is, I'm telling you right here, hold on. This is the 10 commandments. Etched in stone. And someone may have broken one of the Ten Commandments, right? Thou shall not lie. Thou shall not covet, covet thy neighbor. Oh, my Lord. That's what they just said. Thou shall not commit adultery. And here's your card. So you are dealing with a Leo Aries Sag, a Scorpio. Perhaps a Gemini Libra Aquarius, right? Someone obviously lied, cheated, lied, cheated, going literally back to court because something came out of nowhere. So here we are in a potential ending of a relationship and going to court to get your alimony and or child support. Yeah. And making it known that it's not fair. It's 
And we have to put this fairness. It has to be fair. And someone wasn't paying. Look. And if they were paying, it was like piddly squat. Because they were, it's not like they didn't want to work hard. They just weren't making the money or they're hoarding their money. And it's been a struggle. And yes, this is family. Oh, you almost literally threw me for, you know, I, I really felt this was a physical death, but it's not. For some, it's not. If it is, it's like 2%. So someone that we used to love, right? We used to love. I have, I have, it's like, I, I have to pick up these cards because they're, this is how it's going down. This is how it's gone down. Someone that we used to love, that we severed ties with, right? We thought it was the real deal. We even have kids with this person. We have family. This is a family. This is the father, right? Aquarius, you're dealing with someone very stable who has, who has that, the, you know, the ability, the good job, the stability, the foundation, all of that you know, and comes, comes a little with an ego, right, to the table, showing off, very passionate, he, he and or she lends themselves to, to be very desirable, but also desirable in the sense of their intelligence and their, their bank account, you know, we get, we get very egotistical sometimes, sometimes, you know, this money gets to one's head, one or the other he head, <clears throat> and they're like, stop. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. So basically that has been severed. The truth set us free. You know, the pain still resides within the heart space, but you know, love doesn't die. It just changes form in a family unit. But we get to the point where we're like, you know, I've been working my butt off and I'm trying to make ends meet and we've got a child to support or children. And you know, and you know, I have to go to court because maybe you had this, you did, you know, you kept your head down in the past. In the past, you kept your head down and worked hard and maybe you've been silent. You were silent all of, you know, a past life right? And now you're like, you took this silence as a code of honor. The Ten Commandments. Honoring the rules and regulations, right? And then you're like, well, wait a second. I have been, I've been lied and cheated on and to and whatever else. I'm still healing from that three of swords. I'm starting to see the light of a new day because if I don't make a move right now and bring myself up to the, a new version of me 
instead of being quiet, I need to be assertive. I need to get my act together because I've let people and or places of circumstantial situations get the better of me. No more. So I need to stick up for my future. So you have this, this aha moment um, saying to yourself, wait a second, I haven't gotten anything or very little to take care of my family, my needs, my essentials and the needs of my children. So what gives? I, you know, I'm not saying you didn't literally fall completely out of love with this person, but I feel that this pain started to identify itself as it the truth of like, come on now already. This is, this is a family we built and whether we've not been able to salvage the marriage, the union, the family unit, I still need to, I still need to seek some financial assistance or I need to like you had this if you if you had been receiving but very little that had to change and or vice versa if you've been given or you're you're being given child support this Leo Ari Sage said we got to go back to court Because no longer am I going to be the one etching and blistering my fingers and keeping my head down. I need to become assertive. The woman of today who stands up for herself who says, my family comes first. Not that hers didn't, but she was, she was silenced just by the times, biblical times. Women did not speak. They were not seen. They were not heard. And now... Those times have changed. We have come so far from the biblical times of the Ten Commandments, where whatever, you know, Seven of Swords reversed happened here. Oh, here it is. We have so many cards, but we needed them for the story. The narrative. Seven of Swords reversed. Are you kidding me? Aquarius is like, wait a second. Hold your horses. You literally had this, oh my gosh. Are, are you kidding me? So you're back to court or just entering the court system so that you can drop this weight of, of being the mom, the dad, the provider, the whatever, but they want me to say it, but not the liar. So drop that. And let's get something going here. I work, you work, 
right? You pay me, I pay you, and, and we have, if you don't, if you, if you did have someone telling you they didn't, they could only give you X amount of dollars in the court of law, that's going to change. Because that comes by, um, it comes by a calculation. It's factored in. That's what alimony and child support, how it works in the court of law. It's factored in by the husband and or wife's you know, um, earnings. So you had this like breakthrough. Oh, thank God. Literally. Someone on the other side was definitely thinking of the Aquarian and saying, you know what? This beautiful, blessed mother, Mary, says this child has been working and keeping up with a household all by herself and or himself, all right? And I feel that this happened because the Leo Aries Sag had to be true to herself. You know? And or there's a Leo Aries Sag that you are definitely Aquarius dealing with that, you know, I think tried to, tried to pull a quick one, a fast one, and, and avoid you and or them trying to avoid, you know, the whole, the whole system. But you know, the truth sets you free. You know that. You had the Ace of Swords. The truth sets us free. And when it does, for some, it sets us free with relief. And for others, it becomes the thorn in our side. And it brings back a whole slew of painful memories of painful moments. Like I said, the love of family is still there. Someone's still trying to heal. And Aquarius, this is your healing card. You know, you got stripped down to the bare necessities. Right here, stripped down. Look at this. And I am going to say it because they're showing it to me. This beautiful depiction of this, this woman is very much like the Blessed Mother who keeps her head down, both heads of the woman are down. They're both stripped. To their authentic selves. humbled humbled etched in stone which is the court right what the court says will be the ten commandments these are the rules and the regulations 
emotionally. Like I said, I feel, I really do. I feel who's, who's ever harboring Let's put her on the side here. Whoever is harboring this break, the break, the break up, the break, the heartbreak. I feel that when it happened, it may have happened. This breakup or this ending may have happened a while ago already, right? seven, eight, maybe years ago. But we are reliving that death. Through the innocence, through one's innocence and one's demise. one's demise so someone like freaked the fuck out <laughs> someone definitely freaked out when they got the memo or the text saying and or the convo that said hey guess what i'm taking you to court because even though we've been over we still have a family together and, and as much as I love you, I have to do this. And maybe as much as I don't love you, I have to do this. And it is written. It is. This is the law. And you're going through this. You're going through this Aquarius in a very similar presence of grace, humbling experience, right? You're going through that as you're healing, being stripped completely of whatever is near and dear to your heart. It brings, it, it's opening up that wound. I don't think you thought that this could possibly happen or they didn't. They definitely didn't. You threw them for a loop or vice versa. Or the Leo, Aries, Sag or Scorp. It could be, it's, it could be any sign. It brought you back and this, the ability to speak up, right? This is etched in stone. Your truth in your heart was etched in, was etched in stone to karmically come back and resolve itself. for a wrongdoing per se in another lifetime. And of course, the players are different, but the, but the, um, the etched in stone now shows up to help one to help someone get back what they lost. We're not gonna say we know what she lost or maybe she never had. And the fact that she wasn't able to do anything about it is why you're in the position of being able to do something about it. Wow. 
you really did, you know, I was thrown off. So I think someone was thrown off guard. I was. I saw that death card and I'm like, no, my goodness, no. Not because I, it's not a part of life. But when I see biblical times and death, I think of Jesus on the cross. And that, that depiction of the grace and the humbleness of people. And maybe that's part, you know, some of it is part true of people not believing that what was being etched in stone and created the Bible, right? There were disbelievers like that seven of swords reversed. So it does, that thread does, does apply. The difference is someone couldn't speak up then, and now you can. So you're reliving it so you can clear it up. And, you know, it does bring karmic justice to the, to the end of this cycle, this pattern, this replication of what was and what is. I love this read. And no matter what, this is gonna change, Aquarius, if you're the one in contention asking for the money for your family right there's no more backing down ever again and that's just in general that could be in your work sector when you're up for a raise it's time to speak up when you need something it's it's not putting yourself ever again back into a place and or a time where you were not able to use your words, your voice, your feelings. Not being seen, you know, that's the worst. And I'm not talking from an egoic perspective at all. I'm not, I'm talking about not being seen because others' egos are, are so big that they don't have time to look at, right? The ones who do the hard work, the ones that have mastered themselves. Okay, what an amazing, amazing lesson and read to finally be heard and finally be seen. I love it. Okay, I send you so much love. Aquarius, beautiful read. Comment below if this applies in any semblance of your life. It helps others to share. Okay, take care and have a great month.